Hello and welcome back. Don't know me. I'm Celiology, where we not only learn how you impact the ocean, but how the oceans impact you in your turn. Today, the topic is what is beyond the codes or the stuff between continents. This is where most of the water resides in. As noted in my water episode that you can check out here. Also mentioned in that episode is that this water is mostly salt water. Too salty for you and me to drink. As you know, the sea is not flat. When you walk out from the beach, the floor gets deeper and deeper, averaging out to 12,000 feet. That's more than four times the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Hmm. A better view of the worldwide layout of this technically called a bathymetric map is this, which I talked about in my codes episode. If you want to explore more of that, there are two routes that you can look at it from. The marine geology route, which is just underwater geology, looking into features of the sea floor and walls, such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, coral structures, hydrodome vents, etc. Another route to take, which is more modern, is spatial science, which is using technology to make ocean-related models. The major platforms that work with this are Google Earth, NOAA, and NASA. Since we know now that the ocean is very deep, you can imagine it would affect things going up and down it like fish, nutrients, even light. This means that there are imaginary layers that takes place. I just want to say that the technical term for the ocean beyond the coast is called the pelagic zone. This will help us name the five transition zones that I'm going to explain now. The first is the epipelagic zone, which is above 650 feet. This is what most people see when they go to the beach, snorkel, or go on a boat. As we go down, we enter the mesopelagic zone, which is until 3,200 feet. This is what I like to call the in-between zone, not only because of the light to dark, but even all the marine interactions too. After this layer, people usually call the next one the abyss or the deep ocean as one single layer, but it's actually three separate layers. This is how the ocean really is. The first one is called the bathypelagic zone. This zone goes past the average depth until 13,000 feet. A comparison of this is the height of 
Rentiton Mountain in Wyoming. Beyond this layer is the abyssal pelagic zone or the abyss, which is until 19,600 feet, about the same height as the Nali Mountain in Alaska. And the last stop is the Hadol Pelagic Zone, which can be even below the sea floor because this is where the trenches are or where plates collisions happen. This is probably where you heard the deepest part of the world challenger deep and the name James Cameron. Even though James Cameron was the most recognized, he wasn't the only one who ever made it down there. A total of 27 people reached down there from 1960 to this year of 2022. This is an overview of the interesting complexities of the ocean, I mean the pelagic zone. Next time, we are going to touch on the marine life and how it all works together, signing off.